Welcome to this Excel video. What we um, are going to look at today isn't so much a tutorial but a demo of what you can do if you get into a little bit of VBA. Now I've tried two or three times over the years to, to find online a, a VBA stopwatch that I could use for timing different aspects during some of my work in performance analysis with athletes. But um, I ended up just making this one myself um, after picking up a few tips from various people using Google and, and really where it came from was that I had the request that um, someone would have um, quite a few athletes exercising at once. This particular case was from a uh, cycling coach at a velodrome where athletes were going round and round and you wanted to be able to uh, simply sit at the computer and click um, every time a particular athlete went past the start-finish line. Uh, another person I work with is involved with swimming and, and they spend a lot of time with many athletes in the water so this has got useful um, applications for them as well. But as you can see here I've got space for six athletes. I'm only going to use athlete one for now. I'll do a, a second demo in a second. And basically what happens is every time I hit athlete one it hits a timestamp. and so on. So it's giving you elapsed time, actual time, the first column, column B is the time of the day, and also the split time. And so on. So really what is happening, if we have a look at the code, which we'll do in just a second, is that it is putting a new timestamp in column B. I have simply got a formula in place. I'll just um, bring up the formula bar. I've just got a formula in place which is uh, effectively adding together what is happening here. And this is just calculating the difference between time 1 and time 2. So every time I hit the button it's putting a stamp in column B and column D and column C is just calculating with a formula. So I'm going to go into VBA and we're just going to have a quick look at some of this code and as you can see it's not particularly complicated. What it's doing is it's going to the bottom of the range, it's going up until it meets a, a row of data, and then down one to the first available blank cell. That's what that particular line of code says. Then in the cell that's currently active, it's putting a, a time in, hours, minutes, seconds. Then it's going across two, and it's pasting special the value. And that's it. So each time we hit the button, it's simply doing that. So a couple of lines of code allows you to have a pretty good stopwatch. So I'm just going to clear this out. And all that macro did, if we have a look at the code, it's actually quite messy code that I've written for that one. It's down the bottom here. It's really just going through each of the ranges and clearing them. Selecting and clearing. So, uh, as I mentioned, it's actually quite inefficient and messy code, but it works just fine. So, what I've got is the ability to start athletes at the same time. So, a little user form popped up. Select the athletes you wish to group start. So I'm going to select one, two, and four, and click start. And as you can see, they've all started at the same time. And that can be quite useful. So I'll just clear that out again. And basically we're ready to go. So as you can see, a bit of VBA, a stopwatch there to be able to use with um, a group of, of athletes or for whatever your purposes are. The lines of code that 
wrote that um, and that make that work are pretty simple. I had to make a user form. If you haven't made user forms before, they're, they're uh, actually a really great way to get stuck into a little bit of VBA code. User form here, it's just got a couple of buttons, six check boxes, and a little text box there with some instructions. And um, basically, um, all it does is if any of those check boxes is ticked, then it, it runs another macro called Athlete One Split that we were just looking at before. So there's Athlete One Split. That previous piece of code there, they just begin. So not really a lot of code to write to get quite a neat little outcome. So hopefully that's whetted your appetite. If you're interested in some of this code um, or the file itself, please let me know and I'll send it straight through.